In this video, we'll talk about how to set the amperage settings of an ATV320 drive. And um, this will include the actual motor rated current, the motor thermal current, which is the overloads, along with current limitation. And there are actual value limitations. Uh, just so you know, the lowest you can bring down a motor rated current is about the quarter of the actual drive's rating. So if your motor is rated for, let's say, just to make it easy, uh, 24 amps, but the drive is ready for 100 amps, well, you cannot set those ratings low enough to properly protect that motor, okay? So the limitation is about a quarter of the actual drive's rating. Uh, we'll get that in a minute, but for now, uh, let's go ahead and go to the keypad here using the actual uh, remote keypad, VW381111. Um, on your main display of the drive, we can go to in a second as well, but let's go and get started. So from the first display, you wanna enter onto your drive menu and you want to scroll down into C O N F, and you want to scroll down to full. Enter, and the first menu is simply start. So you can go ahead and um, go into that one, and then you want to scroll down into ready motor current. So that's the first one right there. And like I said, I mean the lowest you can bring this down to is about the quarter of the actual drive's rating. So this drive's lowest rating, a quarter of this drive's rating is 0.8 amps as an example while the actual full load amps as it shows is 3.3 um, so you get the picture there so that's the first one that's your rated motor current now the actual motor thermal current ith parameter is what actually provides motor overload protection it's still going to be under the same simply start menu it's labeled as motor thermal current and you want to match this to your motor amperage value exactly as well in most cases. So if I had a 1 amp rated motor, I want to bring that down. But again, keep in mind the limitations of the values there. So 1 amp as an example. Um, and the last one is current limitation. That's actually a parameter that's in a different menu altogether. You have to escape back out and you want to go down into settings. And you can go all the way down, and here you have current limitations. So current limitations is a little different. This is basically where you have your motor FLA, but you also are using the current limitation service factor. So you increase the value based upon the service factor as well. So that value would look something like, let's say your service factor was um, like 1.5 or 1.15 or 1.25, whatever have you, depending on application and drive, and your motor amperage is one amp. So you take one amp times the source factor 1.5 as an example, and that's the value you wanna put in here, okay? So uh, we can put like, let's say 1.5 here as an example. Uh, I can bring the value down, and once that's done, that's basically it. So you have those three parameters that are current-based parameters. You have the motor rated current and CR parameter, you have the motor thermal current, which is the ITH parameter. And you also have the last one, current limitation, which is labeled as CLI on your drive.